now that Messi has the World Cup, you can't even compare Ronaldo to Messi. It's I, I, I really don't think you can. You can't compare them. No. Even before, I wasn't even putting them in there. Well, listen, before I did because I wasn't a fan of soccer. Then I started watching the videos here, okay? Yeah. And I'm looking at the videos. The level of skill, there's no comparison. Sure. Messi is leagues above? What is the term? I don't know if you say leagues. He's, I don't know if you say leagues. Really Ronaldo, Ronaldo's, Ronaldo. A, Ronaldo's a better physical specimen in his prime. Yeah. Jumps he's higher, sprints head. faster. Well, I mean, he's hot, and that counts for something. That, and also that, more that attractive, I think, more attractive. Yep. yep, he is more attractive. Stronger. He yep. got benched. More powerful shot. That's political, though. What's going on? It's not bench? political. Well, let's not get into the benching. Let's All talk right. about earlier in the in the peaks of their career, mm -hmm. right? I think what we're seeing right now, this decline of Ronaldo. Mm -hmm. Okay, we were talking about this a little bit earlier as well. Is that because he relied more on his physical ability? Now that his physical ability has declined, his effectiveness on the field, on the pitch, if you will, mm. has also declined. Yeah. Right now that he can't run as fast, now that he isn't as powerful, now that he can't be as physically imposing and dominant, his ability to affect the game has lessened at a faster rate than Messi, who was always a much more skilled player. Yeah. So that, if you had to compare them to NBA players, you said uh, Messi to you is Steph Curry. Steph Curry. So who is Cristiano Ronaldo? And, and, let me like, say why, um, and let me say why I say that. He, he's Steph Curry in terms of, like, Steph Curry gets his buckets. He has immense skill, don't get me wrong. He has immense natural gifts. But he gets his buckets by outsmarting his opponents, mm -hmm. using every little move to move that person a fraction of an inch, and when they're a fraction of an inch, take advantage of that opportunity that he created. Yeah. When I'm watching these highlights of Messi, I'm like, this guy is solving three problems ahead mm -hmm. every single time. Mm -hmm. It's amazing to watch him work. He's doing one deke that he knows is gonna move this defender, but he can't kick the ball too far because he has another defender that he has to move around, and then a third one that he's preparing for. And I'm looking at this guy, and I'm like, holy shit, not only is he incredibly imp impressive in terms of problem solving, but also selfless. Yeah. Yes. Like he'll solve three problems and then he maybe could take a shot at goal, but he'll make the more high percentage play, pass it off, and then that person will score. Like Rain Man, his decision making is insane. Yeah. Yo, and then Mark was like, yeah, he, I mean, yeah, you're like, you basically call him autistic. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But in like the most beautiful way, the guy's a fucking genius. He's applied the autism to football, Moroccan football. And he succeeded, and I watch Ronaldo play, and I see a guy with immense physical gifts, but not the same problem-solving ability, and it's probably because he hasn't had to solve the problems. It's like a, a guy like, I mean, LeBron is not the right comparison, because That's LeBron- That's I compared him to simply in terms of decision-making. But the thing about LeBron is that Le LeBron is so, one, so yeah. selfless. You, your Kobe comparison was really good, yeah. but I think Kobe's problem-solving was maybe more elite. I think like James Harding. The game came so easy to him. He was able to bully, get some space, create his shot. Oh, no. second, okay, the yeah, physical yeah. ability started to leave. It's mm. like... You yeah. know who it might be? It might be like Giannis Antetokounmpo. Hmm. Once Giannis Antetokounmpo starts to slow down... But we don't know that yet. We don't know it yet. Yeah. But once his physical ability no longer can affect the game... Yeah. It's going to be hard for him to dominate because he can't fall back on these elite skills like Messi. Messi, you could watch him right now. He's not going to beat somebody in a foot race. Yeah. Like, we were watching the final. If it's one-on-one -on -one just racing for the ball, he's going to lose every single time. You now, don't even run that Now, <laughs> before that motherfucker would, yeah. but now he wouldn't. But he's still effective because yeah. if he gets the ball within space, he can. He was involved with every scoring play. Yeah. So, so that's that like elite IQ. I, I, had, I had coaches like this. We would play with our coaches. I'd be like 15, 16, and we're all like running super crazy energy. And we would play with the coach who's like 50. But mentally, his decision making was so good and his change of speed was so good, he could hang with us and would beat mm. us. And he would make fun of us like, oh, you let an old man beat you. But like, if it's a foot race, we'll beat him. But just his ability to still play, even at an old, old age, just due to his like agility and mental game was like unmatched. So here's, interesting. Yeah. So here's something that's interesting. If we're saying uh, Messi's past Ronaldo, the gap is only going to grow because from what I'm hearing, Ronaldo very much relies on the physical. And Messi, he can keep aging. They're about the same age, yeah. right? Messi's going to keep being good for a few more. He was amazing in this World Cup. Yep. Second most goals and probably had more assists than Mbappe overall. So like contributed to more points. So he's just going to keep... He's going to keep playing at a high level, theoretically, yeah. and Ronaldo's kind of going to start uh, regressing a lot more. I think, that's, Ronaldo's a that's little, so true. I think Ronaldo's a little older. I think he's a couple yeah. years older. Okay. I think but they're Ronaldo, close Ronaldo, enough. 38? I think so. And then Messi's, what, 35? Yeah. And this 36. is where I compare. I was comparing Messi's decision-making to LeBron's, and I compared Ronaldo to Kobe based on what I've heard, which is Kobe wants it all on him at all times. Yeah. 
for better and for worse, this shit is mine, and you respect that. But I think that's what it seems like Ronaldo is. Mm. Like, if y'all didn't use me enough if we, and we won the World Cup, I don't give a fuck. I'm walking off. I'm pissed yeah. at the coach. You didn't play me enough. Mm. I don't know if Messi's like that, and that's how I also think LeBron is. It's like, yo, whoever gets a shot if we win, it's good. Regardless, we all just witnessed the greatest World Cup finals in history. Greatest yeah. World Cup in history. Maybe yeah. the greatest World, World Cup, Cup in history. Fire. So I have to ask you guys the question. This is what everybody on the internet wants to know. I watched one World Cup. <laughs> is it, now that we've watched the greatest World Cup and the greatest World Cup final in history, mm -hmm. It's worth the, the people that died building the stadium, okay. right? Like, that's we can not, have... No, no, no. I'm asking... You can't the, say that. The internet is asking no. the question. No. The no internet is that. asking... No one said Let that. me ask you this. Okay. After watching the game, you feel a little bit more, at least... So there was a lot of people from Morocco there, bro. That's not true. Pakistan. And some... It was worth it if oh, you asked yeah, me. Yeah. <laughs> hey, if you asked me, that shit was worth it. Now, do you think Damn. if there are any fans of soccer... Do you think that there are any fans, there were these massive Messi fans, and they're like, if I am going to give my life building these stadiums, at least let Messi win his first World Cup. Do you think that there's a little bit? Maybe that's how they won, how he won. Human sacrifice. They offered themselves up to God. Come on, Al. What? What you got to say? Was it, Catholic, was it Catholics say? that died? Say again? Catholics that died? I don't know who died. I'm just saying. What do you, you, you awfully quiet, pussy. I'm, <laughs> I'm not you on board. I'm not on board here. with this one. Not bro. on board with what, Al? It's not. Not on board People with what? People shouldn't have to die to play kickball, bro. They Come shouldn't. on, bro. They shouldn't. What if it was to build the Super Bowl? What was it? Now that's a game. What if it was to have a <laughs> that's conversation a on a comedy podcast? <laughs> what about that hypothetical? That one's rough. It's Can we rough. have that hypothetical? It's a rough one. Wait, who did you say died? Who died? I didn't say anybody died. What? I also no. didn't say this how I feel. The internet was asking this question. Who allegedly died? Was it Pakistanis? I don't know. The okay. people that were building the stadium, allegedly. Were they black? I think they were brown. Oh. Oh, why y'all putting me in? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Hypothetically, I really no. Yeah, it was a bunch of people from Finland. There was a lot. A lot of. I would care about your people. Yeah, you right. Hey, you right. See how it goes. Who cares about it? I gotta care about the. If it was Sweden, all right. That's the only place I'll be like, all right, it's fine. See what I'm saying? So just imagine it was Swedes. Imagine it was 500 Swedes died building them stadiums. Yep. So Messi could finally get his. Just IKEA cranking furniture. Yeah, I know. I would imagine. Done. Uncomfortable stadium. What happened? <laughs> it's all plastic. Yeah, yeah. It came in flat. You gotta build yeah. your own seat when you get oh, there. Man, that would be horrible. <laughs> all I'm saying is, a lot of people are trying to have that conversation, and I thought I would pose that question to you guys. Mm -hmm. Was it so good that it makes you feel a little bit better about that? We all feel horrible that these people died, but do you feel a little bit better? It was so good, you're gonna forget that people died. Maybe that's mm -hmm. a better way of posing. Conveniently block that out of your memory. Is that? And it? when you talk about this World Cup, remember when this started, and I'm not picking on you, this is the mentality of everybody, but you were like, whole thing feels tainted, man. The whole thing feels gross. And yep. then every match was good to the point that we were like, this is the best. I mean, USC yeah. kept winning. I was like, yeah. I mean, <laughs> I, I, mean I, don't, I don't think they should ever do a World Cup outside of Qatar. <laughs> I think, I think yeah. so far, good so idea. far, no, can I, I say this? Can I say this? Good idea. Qatar is the go to World Cups. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if this is the greatest World Cup ever, right? If it's the greatest World Cup ever, let me tell you this. We didn't miss alcohol, did we? Shout to Islam. We weren't there, bro. Shout to Islam. Yo, 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 we yo, talking about? Alcohol. Andrew Tate, Andrew Schultz. I'm just saying, saying the same we didn't miss it. We didn't miss bitches. We're married. We're all what? married, bro. What? I, yeah, okay. <laughs> yo, get. Side there was note. a few in the stands, but let me say this. Side note, mad pressure when they go to the stands and a girl is wearing like the jersey of where she's from, because that's how I judge all the women from your country. Yes. Like if yeah. they go to you as a fine girl, we're like, yo, we need to go Croatia. Yeah, yeah. Uh, red and, red red and white Croatia. It was this ginger hey, yeah, yeah. old lady, and I was like, oh, skip it. Nah, no, nah, no. Nah. Yeah. I think we said this before. You got to subsidize it. You have to send yeah. your best. Send your best, bro. Put them on a plane. I don't a care. Commercial. Plump up your lips and get the stand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, bribe the camera guy. Everyone's like, bribe the refs. Fuck that, bro. Bribe camera the camera guy. guy. Say, that's hey, tourism. Yeah, Mad people are gonna go to Croatia after what they saw. A million saw. percent. Oh, we didn't send out our best. We didn't have that. It was. We Yo, were there weren't rough. a lot of American girls that we were going to. That's a great yeah. point. Yeah. They're already in. That's why we lost. Didn't shit it on. That why didn't help. Was, you know what I mean? It's one hour <laughs> flight. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. No, it didn't help. Point. Also, the most beautiful American women typically, you know, a lot of them are not necessarily from America. 
That's the other thing. Oh, interesting. They yeah. come over. They came over. The they came over from Colombia. <laughs> I'm saying, bro. Say. They come over from Colombia. They mix in a little. Yeah. They come in from the islands. They mix in a little. So when it comes to support a team, they're not supporting America. You know what's wild? I want to talk mad shit about you, but all of our moms aren't from America. That's my point. That's my point. One of our mom. Wait, was your mom born in America or Puerto Rico? America light. New York. She was born in New York. Oh wow. She was like the last of eleven, so that's what. Yeah, exactly. They was here already. They came up. She's yeah. one of them. <laughs> yeah. Eleven? Yeah. yeah. The youngest of eleven. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> Golly, <laughs> bro. Yeah. Have you met Gramps? Yeah. You met Gramps? Yeah, cool dude. I mean, really? Past obviously. Past, I mean, he was just yeah. a man, bro. Yeah, obviously. Wow. Literally. Yeah, swag. Wow. Mad uncles and aunties. <laughs> That's what I get Same it, moms? Baby, you know, swag Same out. moms? Uh, two were not. And oh, two were not? Oh, but nine with one and then dang, two dang, more? Yeah. Same. My dad, one and nine. My dad, my grandpa was born in the 1800s. Sorry, did anybody ask? <laughs> 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 how many kids you punched Take off that job. Take it off. You don't deserve it. Nah, but now I'm thinking about it, I think I just made up 11. I think it's like nine now that I'm like going through all the aunts and uncles. I think it's about nine. It's about 11, dog. It's yeah, fine. Like it's fine, though. Uncles, okay. inches, you just add yeah, a yeah. couple. You know? Yeah. Just bad cousins. Yeah. I don't okay. Even know. <laughs> okay. Let's just get back here because we don't want to take all episodes to discuss this, but we really can because it is the world's game. Yes. And we are having this conversation for the world. The question is, now that Ronaldo has not won a World Cup, is there any player that hasn't won a World Cup that we still talk about? <laughs> We're talking about Ronaldo now so that it's an odd yeah. It's an odd thing that's happening. Hey, shut up, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Which are good-ass points. No, quit making good-ass points, making me look like I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about, motherfucker. That's my bad. That's God my bad. damn it. Shit. <laughs> Took the wind out of my sails. <laughs> this is a poorly no, no, worded no. question. No, I'm saying, like, historical figures. Like, Pele oh. probably won a World Cup, right? They all, every GOAT yeah. won a World Cup. Pele, Maradona, M Maradona and okay. then uh, now Messi. Messi. Johan Cruyff. Oh, Cruyff. Oh, yeah. how could we forget? Did the first Johan. Yeah. Did the first Ronaldo win one? Yeah, yeah. Ronaldo oh, won one? Two. 100%. Lewandowski, Robert Lewandowski, he never won. Nobody give a fuck. Son, these are truly names I've never heard in yeah. my life. And yeah. I've been watching soccer for like six days now. Yeah, I know. So, okay, that's my point, exactly. With all due respect, with all due respect. It's not going to be respectful. No, no, with all due respect to be David respectful. Beckham. Oh. Motherfuckers yeah. don't even know he plays soccer. You're just hot, dude. You're just hot. Motherfuckers don't even know he plays Son, soccer. Son, you're a hot dude married to Spice Girl. Thank That's you. all I know about Thank you. you. Yo, yeah, got Thank you. That's all I know about you. Thank you. I gave him Thank respect. You. He's hot. Nah. That's he what he's nice. known for. No, 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 no. Hot. He was nice, but no World Cup? Forgotten. <laughs> It's disappeared. So He's gonna take cup. these things off. E pluribus yeah, unum. Son. What is that? E pluribus unum. Come on. What the fuck? E pluribus unum. The only reason we're, I don't we're all united. What is that? What is That's on the dollar, bro. That's yeah, I don't yeah. know. <laughs> <laughs> I just need some Latin right there. Bro. It felt <laughs> like the right thing. I wanted to do a Harry Potter spell. I forgot how to do a Vita Cadabra. Yeah. A from, yeah, yeah. from many one. From many one. That's what E pluribus unum is. Yeah. From many one. Yeah. Exactly, bro. Come on, Al. You took Rock with me, son. Window. Rock with nah, me. I know he going. Prop it up. Hey. Prop it up, hey. Al. Hey. Al, prop it up. Oh, that shit was fire. That's what I'm saying, <laughs> my boy. We creating momentum out here. Hey. Eat poor Miss Soda. <laughs> From many goat conversations, there can only be there one only goat. Oh, oh, my God, bro. God damn. Wow, bro. Mm -hmm. Did it, dude. Holy shit. Did it, dude. That's crazy.